Father Basil is also a brother at the monastery. He was driving back to the parish when he encountered the mysterious creature. It wasn't a cat to start with, but can I say that? Because the, and it wasn't a dog, because the face is different. The, the face of the animal was quite square, like the front of the animal, the face was quite squarish. Okay? And the tail was, a, it was not a cat's tail or a dog's tail. It was like a kangaroo's tail. Despite eyewitness accounts, officialdom is skeptical. I think that a mangy dog with the ribs sticking out in the late afternoon sun could look very much like a thylacine. We actually caught a mangy fox here on the monastery farm and I went down just to check that what I'd seen was not something similar to this. Uh, there is no comparison whatsoever. Well, to all the people that think it's a mangy fox, I'd tell them that once they've seen a thylacine, they'd know the difference. Helen Barlaman lives on the edge of a national park. She told Animal X that she believes it's home to at least one family of thylacines, including a puppy. It was sitting in the middle of the road. I got out of the car and it crossed the road. Well, I thought, oh, this is a baby thylacine. It had all the markings. It was about the size of a fox, or a little bit smaller, but it was um, still had the buffy head, the long snout, and the stripes on it, and the long tail, the thin, you know, the kangaroo-like tail. If I had a net, I would have thrown it over it, but I didn't have one, so <laughs> that was I couldn't do anything about it. But the scientists are convinced she has it all wrong. They say that this could be one of the last mainland thylacines which died about 4,000 years ago. It was a little bit darker than the one that I saw in the museum. The, uh, the colour was a little bit darker, but the, the lines, or shall I say the stripes, on, on, the, th on the animal were, were easily seen. They were, they were quite prominent. This video was taken in Queensland. Could this mysterious animal be the Tasmanian tiger? Experts still aren't convinced. I don't regard sightings as good evidence in a scientific case story. It's like the Loch Ness Monster or UFOs or the Yeti. Sure, there's lots of sightings of people think they've seen things, but um, if there was a living, breeding population of these creatures alive on the mainland, like in West Australia, there'd be more hard, tangible evidence. The creature they call the dingo with stripes plays a prominent part in Australian Aboriginal legend. They coexisted for 40,000 years. Legend talks of a fearless pup called Karina, a tiger with dark stripes all the way from its shoulders to the end of its ridged tail. This Tasmanian tiger pup was collected late last century and preserved in ethanol. Scientists say a new generation of thylacines could be cloned from this specimen. Probably the best chance of cloning an extinct animal that we know of at the moment. If so, the debate could finally be over. We can obtain all the information, if we really want to, that's necessary to make a new Tasmanian tiger from the material in this pup. But until then, or until one is captured, the mystery of this strange creature continues. <laughs>